Alexis and today I'm doing a haul. I feel like I haven't done a haul in a while so here's a haul for you. How many times can I say haul in one sentence? Um, so here we go. We're gonna start with makeup and we're gonna start with MAC. I got two things for MAC. I got the soft ochre paint, no, ochre? Is that how you say that word? Soft ochre paint pot. Um, yes. <laughs> I'm just stuck on if I said the word ochre correctly. I've been wanting to try one of these paint pots for a while, but the thing that gets me is because my eyes are so hooded, and this is, from my understanding, like a kind of creamier kind of product, I'm just so worried that it's going to crease on me. But, I'm going to give it a go. The skin on my eyelids, I don't know if you guys have ever noticed in videos, the skin on my eyelids is not the same color as the rest of my face. The skin on my eyelids and like in my crease is darker than the rest of my face. Also, um, the skin on my eyelids is really thin, so like, they're, you can see the veins. So if I do like a really light eyeshadow look, you can see the veins like poking through the eyeshadow. And it ain't cute, so I'm going to try this out and hope for the best. The next thing I got is a 219 pencil brush. I got this for um, the lower lash line. You, uh, you guys know I usually use my e.l.f. blending brush and just put it the color on the lower lash line but I just wanted to try this out just to get a more like controlled application because sometimes with the blending brush I'm like oh my <laughs> like I've gone too far with this so I got the 219 to get a bit more of a controlled application on my lower lash line. So that's why I got this. This is only my second MAC brush ever. I also have a 217. <laughs> Next is Beautylish. Beautylish, if you don't know, is a online store um, that has lots of different brands. There's also a beauty community on there, which I'm a big part of. Um, and this is my first order I made from them. Very happy with it. Loved it. So here's what I got. Um, you guys know I got this because I've already showed it to you, but this is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Pressed, and I got the- am I opening it the right way? Yep, I got this in the shade Moonstone, which is like the gold color. I also got a full size of the It Cosmetics Brow Power. Um, the one I use right now, A, is broken, and B is the travel size, so I finally decided to get the full size of the pencil. The next thing I got is a brush roll. This is from Billy B, and I sh uh, you guys saw this in the pack with me um, video for my overnight trip to the city, but I got that from Beautylish. I'm really liking this. I really like this. I got the Clean Apothecary, is that how I pronounce that word? Sure. Clean Apothecary Brush Shampoo. I got this in the rose scent. Um, I've only used it once, but so far so good. My brushes are really clean and really soft. And I also needed a new sharpener, so I just got the Anastasia one, because why not? Next is Sephora. I got two things from Sephora. The first thing I'm... Oh, I didn't put this back in the in the sleeve correctly. Um, but this is the Sephora Favorite Skin Fatuations. This is only available in store and um, Sephora inside of JCPenney's. You cannot order this online. But this is a skincare set that has tons and tons of cool stuff in here. There's just a lot of stuff in here. Um, yes. So I got that and um, I think you've already, I've already told you about some of the products in here from my last video, my favorites and nopes. Um, but I haven't used everything yet, so expect more favorites and nopes including the products from in here. And the other thing I got is the Makeup Forever Dare to Be Bold kit collection set thing. Um, this was a hundred point perk. There's a, a noodle a noodle coming out of it. Um, this was a, no, a 500 point perk. Did I say 100? I think I did. This was a 500 point perk. Um, so by the time you're watching this, I don't know if this is a perk anymore, but um, that's what I got. It has a lipstick, a liner, um, a mascara, a lip gloss, and an eyeshadow in here. Oh, and um, I think three different shades, right? One, two, four different shades of the Ultra HD foundation, just little um, samples of them. And one of the shades in here is actually the shade, according to um, Sephora Skin IQ Online, the shade that I should wear, so I'm gonna have to try that out. Next is some clothing. Here's something I got from Forever 21 that I'm holding upside down. So I'm starting to Halloween shop. I'm shopping for a Halloween costume that I want to be for Halloween. That didn't make sense. I'm shopping for my Halloween costume for this year. So for that, and also for a regular everyday wear, um, I got 
a bodysuit with a v-neck and it's not so plunging that like my whole bra is showing like I can still like wear a bra and be covered under it and it looks like I have boobs. I don't know if you guys know this because I cheat but I'm part of the itty bitty titty committee so I need to make sure that my boobs look nice this Halloween and you'll know why once you know we actually get to my costume for Halloween but I got a bodysuit and something I'm so excited for, I saw this on their website, and I was like, I have to get it. So when I saw it in the store, I was like, oh, thank God, I don't have to order it online. This is just a bomber jacket in this purpley red kind of color. Oh my God, I love it so much. Bomber jackets are the trend, apparently, for this year, and I can totally get on board with that. But this is so, like, sleek. It feels so nice, and it's, like... It's lightweight, but it's not too lightweight. Like, it'll keep me warm, but I won't overheat in it or anything during the fall. So I, oh, I love this so much. It also comes in black, but I wanted this color. Next is Wet Seal. I got two baby doll tees, I think they're called. Um, this first one is pink. Woo! Is pink. And it's got a kitty. There's a little kitty on it, embroidered kitty. So freaking cute. So I got that one because cats. And then the other one I got is green khaki. I don't know. Is this what khaki is? But it's this color with an alpaca, which I was mistakenly calling a llama um, when I first bought it, but it's not. It's a little alpaca. So I got that. And I was with my friend Nikki. If you follow me on Snapchat, you, you know the story of the shopping trip, but I was with Nikki and we were shopping. Um, and that's where I got all this stuff from. So when we were in Wet Seal, she was like, oh, you should get chokers. And I was like, why? She's like, you just seem like a choker person. She said it seemed like it would suit me. So I bought not one, but three chokers. They came in a pack of three. So the first one is very typical 90s, this, this one. Do you feel? You feel me? So, this one, and she was right, these do suit me. I love them very much. The next one is just black velvet, plain black velvet. And then this last one kills me. It's lace. Look at that. Do you see this beauty? It's just lace, and it's gorgeous. And when I, I haven't worn it, like, out in the world yet, like, with an outfit or anything, but, um... I tried it on just to make sure that they fit and that they didn't look like too weird on my neck or anything. And oh my god, just this looks so sexy. Such like a sexy accessory. And I, I just don't know what to wear it with. But I really want to wear it. I just don't know with what. But really glad she got me to buy chokers because they really suit me and I really like them. <laughs> next is, next and finally, right? This is the, yep, this is the last store. I got some stuff from Target. I got this. I have been seeing this because I work at Target. I see all the stuff that we have all the time, all the time. And I kept seeing this plaid dress come by and I kept thinking, yes, that is my aesthetic. That, that's it. So finally, when Nikki and I were shopping, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna buy it. So I did. I haven't worn it out into the world yet, but I love it. Just, oh, come on, does it, it looks still, oh, yes. <laughs> and the last thing I got are some shoes. These are just some black booties. I wanted some black booties, so I got these. They're wedges, they have the cute little um, tie in the front, even though there's a zipper on the side, so I don't have to keep retying my shoes. I love that, I hate tying shoes, it takes too much time. So, yep, got these little shoes. Really excited to wear them, it's not quite the weather yet for booties but yeah pretty excited thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed all the links to all my social media will be down in the descriptions check me out there don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you guys again soon bye